Hello and welcome to another LSPEC training video. Today we're going to discuss how to bring data from your meters into Sapphire. We've briefly touched on this and a few others, uh, but it's been primarily using enterprise version that, that is on my PC. The means of bringing data into Sapphire is going to depend largely on the version of software you have. In the front of your Sapphire user manual, there is a license selection guide. It's to help you make a decision on which version of software do I want. Express is free to download, free to use, but it has limitations. Uh, professional Enterprise, there's both a charge, and depending on which one you use, you get more features and less restrictions on the software. One of the key differences of between the three is how it does get data. With professional and enterprise, as you can see here, they can do auto fetching. So that is where the meters are connected directly to the software and the software is pulling the data in the background and bringing it in. Uh, with enterprise, it runs as a service. So whether or not the software is open or not, it's always running in the background. With professional, it does not run as a service. So you have to actually have the software open, uh, running to pull the data. Express, you cannot auto fetch. So that leaves another means of how do I get my data? If I just want the express version, how do I get data into the software? Well, the first is to do a direct connection to your meter. Uh, this can be via a Wi-Fi connection, a direct Ethernet connection, um, or in the case of the Pure, you, you bring this, the SD card and plug it into your computer. So a direct connection is one of the first ways to do it. When you do have a direct connection, you'll see it mapped somewhere on your Windows Explorer if you're using a USB or the SD card over. You browse to the PQ data folder. You find the file or the folder you want. You copy it. And then you paste it somewhere on your hard drive where you can find it. Once you have done that, you can either drag that file over here to start it if it is a single file or start new investigation file folder select either files if you have just a few files or select a folder if you have a large amount of data inside of a folder browse to wherever you had it select the folder and then finish and that will bring you into starting your investigation So that is a way to download via a direct connection. That is where you are directly connected to the computer with either the hard drive from the Pure or a USB cable or a direct connected um, Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Some means of where you're directly onto it and you're not using the server to pull the data and bring the data in. The next means of bringing the data into the software is through some form of Ethernet or networked connection. The easiest means for that is obviously under your systems tab to add a component and this is for professional and enterprise select it enter the IP address here make sure you check it if you do want to stream data acquisition choose your database choose where you want to store your database give it a descriptive name so you can find it If you have tags set up on your computer, you can go ahead and tag it. And then if you had a network connection and everything you're running, 
And you'll be either waiting for data, you'll be collecting data, you'll be processing data. Uh, it just depends on how you have your data acquisition set up, uh, the size of the meter file. Um, but you'll start getting data in. For Express, since you can't do this, or even if you want to do it with Professional or Enterprise, you can FTP in. So if you have a meter on your network, you can use the device search to locate it, get its IP address, make an FTP connection, browse to your data files, and then the same thing, grab it and pull it over into your PC. Once you have all the data over to your PC, then you just go back over to your investigation, uh, start new investigation, pull in the folder, pull in the data, and you'll then have the ability to start your investigation uh, with your data that way. So, just to review, there are two separate ways to bring data into Sapphire. There is the professional and enterprise way, which is to connect that meter directly to your computer, give it a, with the IP address if it's on the network, and pull data from it continuously. So you're always pulling data. The other version is to do a direct connection of some, of some sort, some configuration, either a USB cable or a Wi-Fi signal or an SD card removal from the Pure, some way that you're directly connected to it without going over an Ethernet, and just use your computer to browse to it. And then finally, is if it is on a network and you want to use an FTP client to pull the data, you can do so. Um, you can even do that, honestly, if you're connected just with an Ethernet cable directly between your computer and the device. You can still use the FTP if, if that's your choice. For those that do not have or do not want to download an FTP client, you can use your Windows browser or Windows Explorer. Just put FTP and the address, username. And the password for the meter. Now once it's connected via FTP here, then you can go and browse to your data folder and do the same thing as you did before. Grab and copy paste, drop it over into your folder wherever you want to store it at, and you are um, ready to bring data into Sapphire. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on upcoming videos. Connect with us on LinkedIn and like us on Facebook. Have a great day.